Hello friends, in today's short video, we are going to learn on how to journalize in three simple steps. So below are the steps. First, note the two parties of the transaction. Identify the nature of the account, whether it is a real, personal or nominal account. Apply the golden rules of journalizing, for which I have made a detailed video. You can check the link in the description box. And then you would get to know the journal entry and you yourself could pass. If you're new to my channel, then I would like to introduce myself. I'm Srinidhi and I post short lecture videos on accounting and finance every week. And I also take up topic uh, suggestions from my subscribers. So you could consider subscribing to my channel and leave a comment on the topic that you're looking forward so that I could come up with the topic in my next video. Now that we have looked into the four steps of generalizing, let us take three examples in that I'll explain you in detail on how to apply these steps for creating a journal entry. So first say there is a company named XYZ Limited and it is purchased stock by cash. So let us take the first step. The first step is to identify the two parties of the transaction. At this moment, you should get the question on uh, one important element of this transaction. That is financial nature of the transaction. I haven't specified the amount for which this transaction has happened. So only we will journalize only those transactions which are financial in nature. So let us take in this example that I have purchased stock by cash for 50,000 rupees. So this is the financial nature it signifies that it is a transaction of financial nature and the two parties involved in this transaction are the two um, items which are involved. One is stock, other one is cash. So the company has paid cash and up upon that it has received stock for how much? For 50,000. So in this case, stock is a real account right cash is again a real account so what is the golden rules of accounting so now we, we are in the third step we have a first step we have identified the parties uh, of the transaction second step we have identified the nature of the account of these two ledgers and third step is to apply the golden rules of accounting what is the golden rule of accounting say for real account debit what comes in and credit what goes out and now we are going to pass the fourth step that is passing the journal. Debit what comes in. So we have purchased stock. So we will debit stock. Stock will be debited. And what goes, what is being uh, moved out of the company? It is the cash. So cash goes out. So we will be crediting cash. So the transaction value, which is 50K. So this is the journal entry, which is to be passed for this transaction <coughs> am i clear okay now we'll move on to the next um uh, next uh, example next example is paid salaries to employees employees are those uh, because of whom we the business is running so their contribution towards the business is towards the day-to-day -day running of the business so whatever we pay to them is revenue in nature. It is a revenue expenditure. So in this case, the salary which is being paid to the employees uh, is a revenue expenditure expense. So now let us move to the first step of identifying the parties to the transaction. One is salaries and the other is we have paid. So it will be either cash or bank. We have identified the parties. The second step is to note the nature of account. So in this case, uh, salaries is an expense account. So it is a per personal real or nominal account. So it is a nominal account. Salaries is a nominal account and cash or bank is a real account. Now we will move to the third step of applying the golden rule. That is for a nominal account, we will debit all expenses and losses and credit all incomes and gains. So in this case, salary is a nominal account. It is an expense. So we will debit the salary account and uh, we are paying cash. So real account credit was what goes out. So we will be crediting cash or bank. And that is how we have come up to the last step of passing the 
uh, journal entry once again this is to be a financial nature right only then it requires a journal entry so let us say for example 20k which is being paid to the employees so in this case the journal entry would be debit salaries and credit cash or bank for 20000 last example is capital contributed by the owner very very important because uh, in a sole proprietorship when a sole proprietor uh, enterprise is being opened there is an initial capital which is being uh, pumped into the business who is the contributor it is the owner who contributes to the business so who is the owner the owner is a individual so it is a person right so let's first understand the who are the parties to the transaction so the owner contributes capital uh, and uh, he contributes capital how by cash okay so in this case it is the owner so the owner's account one is the owner and the other one is cash so he contributed contributes uh, capital in the form of cash so uh, we have identified the two parties to the transaction and what is the nature of the account so one is the owner who is the uh, personal account and the cash which is a real account so third step number three applying the golden rules of accounting cash we have received cash so we debit uh, debit what comes in and credit what goes out we have received cash so we will debit cash account to <laughs> who is to be credited it is the owner right because he credit credit the giver debit the receiver credit the giver so in this case owner is the giver so the owner's capital is being credited so once again how much let us take the example as uh, 1 lakh rupees is being invested so this 1 lakh is the uh, value of the transaction and hence we pass the journal which is our fourth step so we, first we have identified the parties to the transaction step number two we have identified the nature of the accounts third step we have applied the golden rules of accounting and the fourth step we have passed the journal entry so in these three cases i hope you have uh, understood on how easy it is to pass a journal entry for any financial transaction